Hey, LA is. Hey, we're going crabbing. Heading up the peninsula. Secret spot. Well, I hope it's a secret spot. <laughs> um, we've got a mate along with us today. Uh, Johnny. There's Johnny. Where is Johnny? There's Johnny. He's on break at the moment. Um, we've got Elby. Um, and that's all we've got. So uh, we're going to zoom up the road up here. We're going to get some firewood along the way when we find some. And then... Um, and then head into our, uh, our little spot. Right, I'll, I'll see you on the road. Job. Past the bit of the road that they're doing up. I know the place. Alrighty, just hit the dirt. Uh, we've aired down. Um, probably got about 30 something K or something to go on this track here. We're going to try and find some firewood along the way. Got the chainsaw there, and uh, we'll chop him up. And uh, I'll see you when we find some wood. Poor old dog. I'll tell you about what happened to him today. Yeah, not that good. Anyway, he's still here. mate had a uh, lucky call this morning uh, we were packing up getting ready to head off and I had the gate open and some um, dogs wandered down the road and he went out to say g'day anyway a bloody car came along and uh, gave him a bit of a clip he was lucky um, that he didn't go under the wheels otherwise uh, would have been sad bloody times that's for sure but he's all good he's got a little scrape on his leg but he's fine Right, oh, no, we've got a nice load of firewood there. That should do us for a couple of days. Probably be out of here Sunday afternoon, I suppose. See how we go. Um, yeah, probably going to be a million mosquitoes, but um, we're prepared for them. So we'll see how we go. Only need a few crabs. I'll be happy. I'll be happy for that. Right, oh, we'll get up the track here. Till. Bit bloody overgrown. You'd probably be crying if you're coming through here with your brand new 200 series. Well, it's nearly been an hour since we chopped that firewood. And we're still hacking our way through the bush here. I haven't never seen it this thick before. I suppose it's a good sign, sort of bit of a track there but it's very old no one's been down here for a long time so someone's been down here since the wet season but not, not a while probably a week or two ago it's just so bloody thick all we can do is crawl through Here, spots like this fairly rutted out quite deep about 500 600 deep not too far from the coast now keep getting glimpses of, of it every now and then and just about to the coast i think and she blows oh looking pretty nice too Camouflage. The new ute. Well, we've got a few stripes on it now. Oh, I don't look too bad. No stripes. Hey, what's that there? Too many beers.
spotted a Johnny's just spotted a crab variety. That's a good sign. I don't know if you guys can see him in the water there. Come here, help, help me. Help. Yeah. Got him. Got him. A lot of times these crabs are just going out with the high tide, heading out to the ocean. And uh, if you're clever enough, you'll be able to get one. Right. Come here. Quick, get him in. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gone. <laughs> Bugger. Well, we went out for a bit of a fish, and you wouldn't read about it. When we got back, we seen a car park there. We're going, oh, who's this? Turns out it was Harry from Fire to Fork. Unbelievable. I knew he was up this way, but I didn't know where. Live. Nice one. We're eating good tonight. You cooking, yeah. Harry? Yeah. It was at your day off. Sauce just like straight mud crab. Yeah, straight mud crab. Just perfect. Yeah. A bit like a sweet chili lime sauce. That's yep. Good. Lovely. Good. Look at these ones, guys. Hey, they're absolute stingers. And guess who we got with us? We got Harry from Fire to Fork turned up. Hey, got our own cook. <laughs> nice one, Johnny. Not bad. What was that, buddy? Half an hour? A bit of a trick, wasn't it? Half an hour crabbing. All is good. Fire's lit. And how's that for scenery, mate? Beautiful. Right, I'm going to have a beer. I'll catch up with you. Do it. Shit, oh, nice, no, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fella. Good hey, story. Can you pick him up with your hands? Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah. Good Grabbed size. It. That's how you do it. I tried to nip me a couple of times. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I got taught by it. the best. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, all. Well, we had a really nice night last night. Got quite cold. Catching up with these boys. I'm a two beers around the fire. I've just seen this. I've just got to come and check this out. Harry's been heading over to Dingo. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Slap them and bring them together. So we're just after some little herring, little white baits. And we're going to use that for our mangrove jacks. Got him again. You're a fisherman dog. Well, if you're going to kill him, you got to eat him. Albie. Can't Albie. Nice. Numbers. Is that Numbers? Numbers, that's Numbers. It's wild, it good. Sharky. Oh no, right, out of it. Out of it. Out of it. He flicked. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, let him go. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> That's really good. Woo! He's Mexican jumping trip. Yep. Elby, sit. Sit. Now, oh, we're going to end up 
More sashimi? Sashimi, fellas. Elby, here. Come on. Sit down. Calm down. Sick little boat. <laughs> well, we won't be starving tonight. We've got a good little feed. Johnny just scored a real nice haul of uh, sand whiting. So I don't know how many there. there's a few. So we're going to be filleting for a while. G'day viewers. Damn hey, man. wrap your laughing gear about this little feed. What do we got there, Johnny? What do you? What's that? What's that? Bit of tell us, tell us about it. Bit of numus there. Bit of sashimi. What's it got in it? Uh, she's got uh, chili, garlic, uh, some onions and lemon. Beautiful. There's your deep fried, um, floured whiting caught about a half an hour ago. Beautiful. Soy sauce, bit of dipping, spicy mayo. Hey. Let's go for it. And a cold beer. Cold beer. And we're wanting for nothing. Here and get stuck into this. Uh, no doubt you are all starving. <laughs> right, it catches up. How's that absolute love? There's butter. What else is in there, Harry? Oil, salt, and pepper. Yeah. What? Good morning all. Well, uh, I don't know what time it is. Sun's just coming up, I think. Ooh, yeah. so we're heading off today. Have some brekkie and well, it helps, you know, brekkie. And uh, head back down the road to our old broom town. I say goodbye to these guys and they're heading up further up to Cape Levite. Uh, tell her yesterday I think we got two, three nice blue bone. Uh, there's a few other bits and pieces. I think we got another four crabs. Uh, good sized ones. The boys went out last night just, just on dark and got some new, some other ones. Um, we had beautiful tea, we had blue bone fillets, and, and that other spread that we we did at uh, lunchtime, that was good. Well, I'll we'll give some brekkie and a cup of tea, and uh, I suppose we better pack up and head off down the road, back through all those bloody trees. That's going to suck. Oh, do do. Glass, a couple of thousand of them. Rightio, we're out of here. Johnny's dip dragging through the uh, through the paddock there. <laughs> Always helps when you've got 35s on. Oh, it's got
a big advantage over Johnny. Um, I was running 35s with a uh, 50 mil lift. Um, he just had the smaller tyres. I can't, don't know what size they were, but it, um, he was uh, having trouble in these ruts. Uh, the big cruiser, no problem. Now, is this for service? Woohoo! Go, go, quick, go. Yeah, that's a good little pump. 30 seconds of time, huh? Definitely got to have a good compressor. These big tyres, um, not much chop if you've got a small compressor trying to pump up these big tyres. They'll just burn out or get too hot and shut down. There you go guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, a couple of days with the boys, unexpected to run into old Harry from Fire and Fork, uh, definitely check his channel out, eh? um, he's got some bloody good recipes um, for when you're out the bush, uh, he's always coming up with something new.
Oh yeah, I'll just show you um, how I cook these crabs up back at home, eh? There you go, not a bad. Couple of crabs there, nice and heavy. Uh, I know most of you guys know how to cook crabs, but just in case for the new viewers. Uh, it's eight minutes per crab in a decent pot. If I can hold this steady enough. Uh, and about, oh, I don't know, I usually put in about a cup of, a cup of um, salt in about that much water. And then eight minutes per crab when it's come to the boil. So, and then you should end up with some pretty good taka. All right, I'll cook them up and I'll give you, get a photo of it uh, once they're all cooked up. You can always um, put garlic in your water as well and uh, a bit of vinegar. Uh, some guys put vinegar in and brown sugar. Oh, there's plenty of different ways you can cook them. As uh, long as they taste good, eh? Well, that looks alright, doesn't it? Hey, um, I've got Kim and Matt coming across the desert. They'll be eating broom here in a couple of days. Uh, we're going to head off down to Port Smith, uh, down around Bitchy Danga Way, uh, do a bit of diving, some mud crabbing, maybe. Uh, a bit of fishing going out wide uh, and a bit of exploring of some new ground so stick around for that that'll be on the next series after this one alrighty guys hope you enjoyed that please give us a thumbs up and the old subscribe that would be wicked all right well I'll bung this next video together and get it on as soon as possible right I'll catch up soup